Hey guys, thank you so much. Welcome back to my desk here. A uh, bit of a mess today, but it's a great day, uh, great day nonetheless. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope that wherever you are, you're having a great day. Uh, today, back with more uh, Iron Studios goodness and more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, I got this uh, the same day as I got my Donatello Iron Studios figure, but later on in the day. So these showed up pretty much back to back uh, during the same uh, day at uh, different times. But nonetheless, here it is again, uh, Leonardo this time, one tenth scale from Iron Studios. Uh, I did buy this again directly from Iron Studios. Uh, I did not go the sideshow route, which is the route that I normally go. Here's the box again, continuing the trend of the gray. And also in this case, they're sticking with the blue for Leonardo. The box for Donnie, I believe, had the purple motif. And there's the product itself. Uh, so yeah, I'll get this open, show you what this guy is all about. There's the logo, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Leonardo from Iron Studios, 110 scale. Okay, so got Leo here out of the box. Well, not out of the box, but I, I took all the foam and, and tissue paper out. And this is pretty much what you'll see when you, uh, what you get in the box, essentially, all right? You get his uh, holsters for his swords or his katanas. You get the actual uh, Leo piece in one um, one section, so it's not separated. You get his two katanas. You looks like you get some kind of valve for the base itself. Um, and again, uh, not, really good weight. The Donnie base was a lot heavier. Um, but this was not so bad. But that's pretty much what you get in the packaging. And I'll show you the pieces individually in a second. Okay, guys, so going to move on with the video here. Uh, first piece, uh, let's start off with the base. Again, the whole sewers uh, industrial uh, motif here. Uh, again, more brickwork similar to the Donnie uh, statue. Uh, just a whole different style. Some more piping, some grates. Again, they, add, they keep adding this uh, shiny effect, I guess, to give it some of that wet uh, or water worn down look. Uh, really cool here, they added the uh, no foot, uh, essentially, uh, sign graffiti onto the back of this base. And again, I think the brickwork uh, with uh, the cement, or I guess the mortar that's holding it all together is done well. Uh, down here, we've got the base, so again, more sewer-like uh, structure with some pipes. Uh, I guess they try to replicate the ooze here. Um, this is probably one of the one of those few cases where I don't I don't know I don't think they've done so much of a good job with the the effect or the paint. It is green, obviously. It's supposed to be the the ooze, uh, I guess. And you guys can see a section here of the pipe where it's dripping. Uh, it's broken and it's dripping down. But I don't know. It looks a little plasticky the way they they've they've painted this. At least on mine, it doesn't look terrible. But I think this is probably one of the weaker parts of the the base itself. Up here, you got this huge pipe. Uh, this is a section to include the valve and, of course, the section to put in the actual Leo, uh, the foot there to sort of hold them in place. Uh, I think the base is okay. It's well done. Again, the whole sewers and pipe motif is, is done really well. Uh, it's nice that they have some color here with the green, but I think the paint could have done could have been done a little better. Um, in the use. Uh, another part that you do get is the holsters. These, uh, this goes into the back of Leo in, in his shell. And uh, again, it's really well done. Uh, there's uh, some nice green shading detailing to give it a bit of a worn down look, uh, like little ropes sort of holding, holding it together in that sort of X pattern. Um, back here, you'll see the section that you sort of use to, the little peg that you used to put into Leo. Uh, these sections here are not hollow. I did try to put the swords, the katanas in, and they're they're solid. They're just sort of painted black, so you cannot put the katanas in. Uh, before we move on to the weapons, real quick, as I mentioned earlier, you do get a little valve that uh, is supposed to go up here up top, and it is uh, shaped. Uh, it's got like a key, so you can match up the way it's supposed to go. And again, it's well done. It's bronze looking. Uh, again, some, um, you know, worn down black and, and brown. So really good job, I think, with that. And then the weapons themselves. I really do like these. Uh, they feel like metal and they have some nice weight to them. So this is pretty impressive, actually, when you hold them in hand. 
I I mean, I could be wrong, but these feel like metal. Uh, but or they're really they have some really nice weight. It may be that maybe it's just one long metal strand and they wrap the the shape whatever the resin or whatever they use uh to put this in but it, it's it feels nice in the hand it, it's really well done and um i don't know if you guys can hear that uh again some nice detailing on the blade so it doesn't look you know it has some character to it and again the blue on the katanas on the handles are really well done with the gold or, or bronze there these are really cool very impressive kudos to iron studios on these weapons these look really nice and then of course the main attraction is obviously leonardo here leo the leader uh, of of at least in my book the leader of the teenage Mutant ninja turtles and again this is continuing that trend of it almost seems like a mixture of different uh, the uh, turtle media, right? Maybe some comics, some cartoon, um, you know, so it's it's really cool. Maybe even some Bay, Michael Bay. I know a lot of folks don't like those movies. Uh, but I, I, and I say that because, you know, these wrappings remind me of the movie Turtles, uh, the Michael Bay movies. But it, it's really well done. Uh, rap, the wraps have uh, some nice detailing, some nice weathering, so everything looks nice and very appropriate. Again, the pads very similar to Donnie. Uh, in that case, they have some nice detailing. They're nice and brown with those uh, black uh, sections to hold it all in. Same thing here and here. Um, again, the shell, great job uh, by Iron Studios. The detailing here is done. It's nicely sculpted. Uh, the you know different sections, the different colors of, of brown and black, etc. And uh, you know, you see here the holster, the belt, again, really well done. There's some side action here, part of the shell. Um, moving on to the face, uh, I do like Leo's expression. Again, very serious, very stern. Again, I think it fits him uh, pretty well. And the bandana there in around his eyes. It's got some slight rips and tears, and he's got the scowl uh, thing going, so... I like that the blue is really nice and, and vibrant i think it helps to break up all the uh, uh brown and, and green colors and then you've got the bandana sort of flowing in the air so that's really cool um yeah and then similar to donnie the muscle definition and these guys is crazy it's nice it's nice almost like a incredible hulk like color <laughs> uh, on these guys right definitely got the muscle that's they've been working out you guys can see the arms there. He's got like a crouched uh, in position, but again, here are the legs. And again, same thing with the wraps here. The nails, I think, again, um, it's really well done. I, I really, really like the, the way they've done this. The pose, again, he's crouched down, so you can't really see much uh, of the chest. But they did manage, again, to to paint uh, uh, some detailing there on the front shell. And similarly to Donnie... I guess this is one of those details where you're kind of like, uh, I think they could have done a bit of a better job. It's not terrible. It's not terrible by any means. But, uh, and you can see the bottom here is not painted, but you're not going to see that. And then, of course, here's the metal rod for the uh, for him to be put in, in, the, in the base. But, and of course, he's in this crouch on position, holding his two katanas. So we'll see how that goes in. But uh, I'm liking this. Uh, I really, I think it all comes together really really nice um you guys could see here the base does have a shaped a certain way so that you could you know which essentially which direction to sort of uh fit this in so essentially we're going to key in um you know what no we'll do is let's uh do the smaller pieces first so uh these holsters this uh for the katanas or the weapons also i don't know if you can see there the hole does have a bit of a shape that matches uh, here with the section, so he's going to put that in and, and get that matched up, and it kind of just sits there in, in place. It's a little loose. It's not going to come off, I don't think. Well, there you go, actually. <laughs> so it does come off. Uh, so just, I would be very careful, I guess, without loosening that. It's a bit unfortunate. Maybe I'll, I'll try to um, maybe put some crazy glue in there, but... It does sit in place. Obviously, don't go around shaking your statues. But as you could see, mine does come off. It's a little loose, which is unfortunate. Uh, but that goes in there. This valve, as I mentioned uh, before as well, 
does have a, a bit of a shape there so that you can sort of uh, try and, and match up the overall uh, section here and I'm gonna I'm trying to do this one hand but there you go and then once it's in it's kind of in I wouldn't go around messing with it and uh, of course here's Leo so we're gonna match up the um, the section here on the foot to try and get that in but there you go um, yeah so once it's in it's in so there you go and then of course uh, the two katanas I, I guess these can go any which way in his hands but let, let's see yep there's one and then we'll put the other one this way here is two and there you go and that looks awesome I think once you put everything all together uh, it looks really really nice uh, again I think great job obviously there are little things in here that I, I, I kind of would say could have been done better like the green here and the green ooze to paint uh, I think they could have done a better job with that uh, of course, maybe having this be held in place a little better because it is loose. I, as I said, may try to put in maybe some, a little bit of a dab of uh, crazy glue there to avoid the risk of perhaps this sort of falling off and losing it. But I think overall the statue, I, I do, I do think it's it's well put together. Uh, I think once you have everything in place, uh, the the pose again for Leo, I like it. Again, he's sort of up there, uh, or looking down, I guess, at the foot, or looking forward, um, perched on, on both legs. Uh, but overall, I do like this one. I think it's a nice addition. I do think Donnie uh, is a little better. Maybe perhaps I, I prefer that pose, um, you know. But I do think this is really well done. Okay. So as we wrap up the video here, just wanted to show uh, you guys these two together, but they look awesome. And um, yeah, great job by Iron Studios. Uh, I think I'm, I'm so glad to add these to my collection. They look really, really nice. As you guys can see them there together. I'm going to try and get some risers uh, once I get the other ones and try to put them all together to see the, how they come out. But uh, anyway, if I missed anything, let me know. If you have any questions, I think I'm very happy with Leo and Donnie here. You guys can see there the color differences. Uh, but I think these are great additions to my collections. I'm glad, again, that I was able to jump into this Iron Studios uh, Ninja Turtles line. Uh, but thank you so much again for your very valuable time. If you have any questions, if I missed anything, let me know. Leave a comment. Uh, but otherwise, thank you so much for your very valuable time. And uh, thank you for joining me on this journey. I will see you next time.